What is up hustlers? AliExpress is old news because as you know, dropshipping times are pretty bad with AliExpress, product quality is even worse, and product selection is unoriginal. So in this video, I'm gonna jump to my laptop here and basically go over some alternatives that you can use uh, which will give you a competitive advantage over most of the people dropshipping these days because a lot of people aren't using these alternative methods. So let's go. But no bulls in the house, the blues is the old, old, old. Now that we're on my laptop, I'm going to get straight into the video and first things first, I'm going to show you what not to do. So a lot of people are going onto Google and they're typing in AliExpress alternatives. I can't spell at the moment, it's fine, thank god for autocorrect. Uh, so let's just go onto the first link for, purpose, uh, for illustration's sake and if we scroll down, you're going to get a whole list of literal AliExpress alternatives. Now. Here's why they're not great. If you go onto the few of these, and I know that Light in the Box is a popular alternative, and so so is Deals Extreme. If you go onto these sites, right, you look at this site, and it literally looks like AliExpress. It is literally like AliExpress too. That's just a different brand, essentially. So what's worse is Deals Extreme is also very similar to AliExpress. Uh, they're all sort of like stock standard, direct from China sort of supply sites. Um, and what is what it is is it's essentially the same thing, right? And products are literally the same. Um, so are prices, and oftentimes prices are actually higher than AliExpress. So the point is. Uh, don't use literal AliExpress lookalikes because you're going to get the same thing if not worse. AliExpress is still the king for drop shipping, uh, but there are alternatives out there that I like to recommend. So first things first, do not use these uh, these sites because they're not great. I mean, hey, if you are using them and you're finding some, some success from them, that's great. Uh, each to their own, but here's my recommendation. DHgate is a big one that I recommend because a lot of people... And, and a lot of people do use DHgate already, but a lot of people overlook it because it is wholesale. It's very similar to Alibaba. However, a lot of people are not looking at certain options. And there is um, overall, in terms of pricing and shipping time, um, it's overall actually quite fast in comparison to Alibaba and AliExpress. As you can see here, there's a two to five day shipping um, option. Okay, so I'm just going to go into, I'm just going to use an example here, just a really random one, like uh, let's just type in iPhone charger for the sake of this video. And the biggest thing is, it's exactly like Alibaba, right? So there's a minimum order quantity or an MOQ. However, we don't want to, we don't want to do that because we're not doing wholesale here. We're not doing Amazon FBA. We're doing drop shipping. So what you want to do is in minimum order, you literally want to type in one unit. And there's a whole range of options here. You know, um, these the there's a lot of shipping options. So I'm just going to tick all and ships to wherever you want the product to go to. So I'm just going to hit go. And here's an example, right? Like, you know, literally two sixty to five dollars a piece, and minimum order quantity is one piece. So that's perfect, guys. Right? This is literally like AliExpress, um, but Honestly, guys, like the pricing is quite cheap in comparison to AliExpress, um, and drop shipping is available here. So as you can see, um, there's only one piece required um, in terms of wholesale, which is perfect, and there's even free shipping via e-packet. So that's awesome, right? Like that's really quick shipping times. It's completely free and it's extremely cheap, um, and oftentimes it is cheaper than AliExpress. Okay, so that's my first recommendation, DHgate. Give that a go, guys, um, and just basically search for products that are within your niche and see if you like it or not. So that's my first uh, recommendation, and that's a very similar you know, solution to AliExpress. However, the next two options are completely different, and this is what I mean. So the next option is Amazon. Yes, you've heard that right. Amazon is perfect as an alternative. Um, so again, it depends on what you're, um, <coughs> what you're selling, but it is a very good alternative, uh, primarily because it's very reliable, our product selection is amazing, and shipping times are amazing, especially if you're using Amazon Prime. So this is a big 
awesome technique that you guys can use. And let's, again, let me think of a quick example. So I'm gonna use uh, a very popular product as well in terms of drop shipping right now is the moon lamp. So I'm just gonna type in moon lamp here. And okay, so like general price roughly is, you know, like 10 to 30 US dollars depending on the size of the moon or the lamp itself. Uh, so let's just click onto one of these. So I'm just gonna click into this option here. And here we go. So I believe, let's let's look at this. So diam diameter 15 centimeter centimeters. I can't talk at the moment. So we're looking at roughly 20 bucks plus free shipping. Um, if you go onto Amazon, look at the exact same thing, right? Like type in moon lamp. The prices aren't that bad, guys. Honestly, like look at this. You've got the first the first option is $22 US dollars. There's even one here for $19.95. So let's just look take a look at this one. And of course, this is depending on size, but um, we're gonna get a similar size up here. It's 1995 for about, I believe it was the 12 or 15 centimeter. Um, so look, we're looking at, I believe it's, we're looking at about less than a $5 price difference here. And obviously with Amazon, you're gonna get two day shipping if you go with Prime. Um, if, and if, if not, it's still gonna be literally a week shipping depending where you ship it to. Uh, so that's amazing guys. $5 difference, um, of course you're probably going to pay for shipping fees with Amazon, but all in all, you can jack up the prices, absorb the additional cost into your product prices, but what you're going to get is Amazon's amazing reliability, um, the product selection on Amazon is amazing obviously, and of course you're going to get the really fast shipping times, which is what you need guys to build a brand, and that's the biggest thing of all of this is I think shipping time is really important in this case because I keep drilling this into uh, people that I talk with, people that I mentor with, but shipping times is really important because we want to create a brand, right? And with AliExpress, it's great and all, but with the, uh, like, guys, 20 to 41 day shipping time is crazy. Um, if people are receiving their their orders with, like, in, in the latter estimate, which is 41 days, you know, they're not going to come back and buy buy from you. Honestly, they're, they're going to remove you. They're going to remove your website as a bookmark. That's one lost customer. Even though you might have made like twenty, thirty dollars, whatever, you're not going to get a repeat customer. You're not going to create a brand. Brand is the most important asset that you have in the dropshipping game. So look, um, I think Amazon is a really, really good option if it's feasible within your niche and your brand. The next option. Um, is eBay, so very similar to Amazon. However, I'm gonna type in Moon Lamp again, and generally, look, it, it, it's look, it's really cheap, guys. Like, look, look at this, look at this. Um, it, overall, I think the prices are cheaper off eBay, um, but like, I think it's 12 centimeters. Look, it's like so USD. Actually, this is cheaper, right? and you're gonna get free standard postage. So this is a great alternative if you're drop shipping from outside of the state, because Amazon is limited usually, it's best used in the states. Um, however, if you're in Australia, for example, or Europe, um, eBay is a great alternative. Uh, you're literally paying $23, guys, and you're literally like, like come, on, come on, like, this is the same price as AliExpress, guys. Like, this is insane. Why would you want to buy off AliExpress when you can buy it for literally the same price, um, but uh, with free standard postage as well? Uh, and I want, I want to reiterate, that's standard postage, guys. So in, in Australia, um, if this product is located in Australia, which it is apparently, um, you're getting free standard postage, you're literally going to get it within three to five business days. Now, that's crazy, right? Um, Biggest sort of like uh, let down here, in my opinion, is the inability to use um, fulfillment automation. Uh, so things like Oblo, for example. So uh, when you do get an order, you literally have to come in, hit buy it now, go through the cart checkout and input the input the information manually. However, once you get to a scale where a lot of 
um, orders are being made, you can hire a VA. And this is what I always suggest, guys, is hire a VA. You know, put all your orders into an Excel spreadsheet, send it off to the VA every day, or if not, just get them to go into the Shopify store and manually order everything off eBay, Amazon, or um, even DHK, and get uh, the VAs to automate everything completely. But yeah, at the end of the day, these are really good alternatives <clears throat> that aren't being utilized. I feel like once there is a fulfillment automation software that comes out for eBay and Amazon and DHK, uh, I, I feel like these options are going to be very, become very popular. So get onto this, guys, as soon as you can, because uh, look, it doesn't hurt to do a bit of re research and see if your products are already on these sites. And if they are, look at the price comparison, look at the shipping options, and look if you're literally paying like two to five dollars difference. But at the end of the day, if you're getting, if you're cutting the delivery times um, more than a half then it's literally worth it guys because you're going to create a brand presence and a reliable brand is um, is valueless. You can't put a monetary value on that because you want to grow your brand. So there we have it guys. Those are my suggestions. Go with DHK first. Check that out. Um, and Amazon and eBay are amazing alternatives that people aren't leveraging at the moment. I really like Amazon and eBay personally. I do drop ship a few items off these off these uh, sites. There we have it guys, I hope this video helps. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you, if, uh, to subscribe to this video, sorry, to this channel if you haven't already. A lot more lit content is coming out as per usual. But in the meantime guys, keep on hustling.